Hello, my name is Ray Chambers and I'm an ICT teacher at Large Park Technology College in Corby. Now what I'm going to show you today is how to use Kodu to make an interactive quiz for your students. Or maybe you would want to show them how to make a quiz. But the first thing you need to do is get your character in the game. So, if I just come out of this, my first character I added in was the Sputnik character. So if I press Y on my keypad, I've got my gamepad and the left stick. I can move around quickly. And also, if I see anything, I want it to go into first person view. And this is just so it's a bit more 3D and it's as if you're actually in the game. It makes it, makes it a bit more immersive for them. Now once I've done that, I've added in the object for them to bump into, which is an apple. Now, if I press Y to program it, I've said when bump into Sputnik, which is my character, I want it to say my question. So, which of the following would you use to work out the total of two cells? So I've said all the different questions and why is my correct answer, so I'd use the sum formula. Now if you press the Y button you can choose whether you want it to be full screen, a thought bubble, and when you're happy with what you've picked, just press save. Now, once it's said the question, I want it to go on to the next screen, so switch to page 2. To switch to page 2, you just hold down the right bumper. Now what this is going to do is carry out all the code for this one. Now, my correct answer is Y, so I'm going to go on this, I'm going to change it to Y. Now, the first thing you do is, when the gamepad so you pick your correct answer, score, I want five points if it's the correct answer. If it's correct, it's also going to say the correct answer, and then I want it to vanish and go back to page one so it could do that code again if it was correct. The next thing I've done is, if gamepad is the X button, vanish, but you're going to tell them that it was incorrect, and then go back to page one. And then the rest of the code is very similar. Gamepad, B button, vanish, tell them that it's incorrect, then go back to the page one of the code. Gamepad A, because it's the wrong answer, I want it to vanish, tell them that it was incorrect, and go back to page one. Now, once you set up the, the original code, you can keep cloning this. So if I just go back to page one, come out of this. If you're on a character, all you need to do is press the right trigger and that gives you another one. So if I press the right trigger again, that gives me another one. And all I need to do then is go onto it, program it, change my question. So for example, uh, I'm going to say which formula which of the following would I use to find the highest value in my spreadsheet? So I'm going to. So the answer is X this time because it's max. If I save that, go to page 2, that's going to be X and it's going to say it's correct and I'm going to swap that and say that is Y so let's try out my game now so if I play it highest value so I'm going to press X so X correct answer alright so now I'm going to go forward to my next one. This is the following as work to work out the total. So it's Y. Correct answer. And that's a simple game. So would you use to work out the total? Let's say. And there's an apple that I haven't actually programmed yet. 
So see if you can use this code to help you to maybe make an interactive quiz. You could do an end of unit assessment with the students and get them to tell you their score at the end of it. So let me know what you think. Uh, I hope this has been useful.